the word of God, which uh, this morning is Colossians 2, verse 1 to 11. Let's pray together. Our God and Father, we thank you that you are sovereign and that you are magnificent. Thank you, Lord, that uh, as we've seen with Joshua, you are the, the leader of uh, your people. You are that great shepherd of the sheep. You, uh, as the Old Testament tells us, you direct and lead your flock uh, through all times. And Lord, just as you chose both Moses and then Joshua to lead uh, those couple of million people in that 40-year journey, Lord, we thank you that you did not give up uh, at the end of the Old Testament, but you sent your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to come and uh, lead his sheep. Thank you, Father, that we learn in John 10 that your uh, sheep know your voice. Uh, and you being the true, the good shepherd, are able to uh, come into the, the sheep pen and lead those who know your voice uh, out and go ahead of them. Father, we thank you that you are a compassionate God. Just as you lead your people, just as you are that shepherd with the sheep, we thank you that you are a God who has great love and great care uh, over your people. Lord, not just your people in particular, but those who live on this earth uh, now, a a world population of six or seven billion. But Father, we thank you that you show your your general grace, your general mercy to all. You make the sun and the rain uh, fall on the righteous and on the unrighteous. But Father, we thank you because you are a good, kind God, that you also... Uh, Allow your word, the message of the the Bible, the gospel, to be uh, spoken to all. Father, we ask that in this uh, this time of uh, panic, when the the whole of this country is in shutdown, when people are isolated, Lord, that they would not be isolated from you, that you would be the one who goes beyond borders and barriers. You would be the one who is able to go into each home and each heart, and draw people to yourself. Lord, at this time of uncertainty, that we would look to the rock who does not move, who does not change, uh, and Lord, that we would put our trust in you. Father, we remember those in our own congregation, even this morning, who uh, are genuinely not well for, for whatever reason. Lord, we pray that you would place your hand upon them and be gracious to them. For those, Lord, who are able and still have to work, whether shift workers, whether those in emergency services or the the medical profession in this church, we pray that you'll be with them either as they sleep or as they work uh, this morning, that you would go ahead of them. Help them in their tiredness. Help them to to calm the chaos uh, on the the streets uh, around and in the place where they are working. For Father, as we come to you now, we leave out some time to bring before you our own personal needs, our own uh, confession of sin. And Lord, we leave them before you, knowing that you are the one whose gracious will will come about. And so we pray that you would indeed hear our prayers. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins. They are many. they are sins that we know about. Uh, they are sins that we intentionally commit. But there are other sins, Lord, sins of omission, which we don't know that we have, uh, that we have carried out. Lord, we pray, forgive us. Do not treat us as we deserve, but, Lord, in your kindness, have mercy upon us. Lord, we do pray that you would... Uh, speak this morning through our reading uh, and through the message that will be brought slightly later. But Lord, that you would warm our hearts through uh, the, the songs that we can sing together. Do Lord pray that in this time as well, that we would as a church know what it is to love and care for each other. That we would ring each other, that we would speak to each other, that we would help each other out in any way which is right and possible. So, Father, we we pray that you would be the one who hears us and goes with us, that we would be strong and courageous because you are with us indeed. Lord, this we pray in your precious and your worthy name. Amen. 